we have these two Japanese words, jiriki and tariki. Jiriki means self-power. Tariki is other power. I believe the G must be self and ta must be other and riki must be power. If you are believing in intention, if you are believing in free will, if you are believing that you are doing it, if you are believing that it's you talking now, then that is self-power, that is jiriki. If you believe it's being done through you for some purpose that we may or may not be aware of, then it is tariki. Not that you have surrendered to other power, but that other power has got you to surrender. You don't surrender, you are gotten to surrender or you are gotten not to surrender, as the case may be. Shinran, who was one of the formulators in the early days, following the work of Honen and so forth, of Shin Buddhism, said that the 18th vow of Amida Buddha is if you once invoke me, my name, with pure faith, you will instantly have what we call heaven on earth, the free land. Then Shinran said, but it's not you that's invoking her. It's her, Amida, invoking herself through you to herself. And whether by whatever happens through you, you, quote, do it right or not, you either get to the free land or not, depending on what Amida wants to do through you. And we can show with this with examining the acupuncture system because the belief in self-power is always a negative attribute of a particular acupuncture point, lung three. Right? And there's even a remedy which helps it, cherry bark. So if someone says, I believe in intention, you know, and, and I, don't, I don't believe in karmic plan, I believe I can do this, I have free will, You'll always be negative at lung three. But someone who says, no, uh, I, I am led to believe that it is other power that's controlling virtually, or we can argue about the degree, virtually all of my actions, we'll, we'll have no problem in terms of that at lung three.